So when I was an undergrad, I had no money. I was broke most of the time. But it wasn't until after I graduated that I found out there had been this huge money-making opportunity right in front of me, being a guinea pig for experiments on campus. One friend of mine had to stay in bed without getting out for something like, I don't know, I think it was a month, and he had to eat all this fattening food. He said it was totally fun at first. He felt like he was making money for doing nothing, which technically he was doing, but after like 10 days, he said it was torture. It was awful. And then he finally gets out of bed after a month or whatever it was, and he said he felt like he was wearing a fat suit, so maybe that didn't work out so well. So I want to talk about a specific experiment on undergrads that became quite famous, and it's a behavioral economics experiment. It's called the ultimatum game, and it goes basically like this. You've got two people sitting at a table, two subjects. One of them is given some money. So let's say it's 10 bucks. And both people at the table know exactly how much that first person got. Now, the person with the money has to offer some portion of the money to the other person at the table. And they can give them any amount they want. They give them $5, $9, totally up to them. Now, if the second person accepts the offer, they both keep their share. But if the second person says, no, I'm not interested, then nobody gets anything. And it's important to point out there's no chance for payback. So these people meet one time. They have no history of doing this back and forth. So they're not going to set up some kind of an arrangement. This is a one-time meeting. You get one chance to make an offer and the person has one chance to accept it or refuse it. So how much do you offer? Do you give them two bucks? That's maybe a good place to start, right? Because then they're choosing between two bucks and zero. And so presumably they'll take the two bucks and then you get eight bucks. Okay, now imagine you're at the other side of the table and you just see this other person get 10 bucks and they're saying you can have $2. So frankly, two bucks is not that different from zero and it's a little bit of an insult. So you say no, you say to hell with them. No, two bucks is too little, I refuse. And then nobody gets anything, but you've at least got your pride, right? See, that's what makes this game interesting. I mean, if it were robots, they would always accept everything because technically a penny is better than zero, but people aren't robots. Learn how science comes to life with Inside the Breakthrough, now streaming on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts.